The Red Hot Chili Peppers and the Zephyr Song at 96.5 Radio Bahrain. A very special show with Ben and Noor and usually to Scott. And uh, we promised you a very special guest on the show today. A very, very, very special one. Now, very. The, the thing is, we've uh, we've actually never had a guest on the show. I, I think we had Noor's mum once. We uh, did. I, I believe we had Noor's mum yeah. a long time ago. Um, and that was it. That was it for guests. We never get any guests. They always seem to go to the, the morning show. Yeah. We've never had a guest. Yeah. But for this one, well, let's just say we went big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Would you like to introduce... Our very special guest, please. Noor. Absolutely. We are honoured, proud and very excited to have His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, right here with us. Good morning, everybody. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning. And, uh, thank you for welcoming me. Uh, you're, you're, uh, you're most welcome. Uh, you're welcome to come anytime. It's any time we can get Nora out of bed in the morning. So. <laughs> I, I gotta say, the only, the only, the only time, the only guest <laughs> I would wake up for. <laughs> that is very kind, and uh, it is appreciated. It's, and it's and I would happy. like to say that I, I'd like to congratulate you on your uh, wonderful listeners on this fantastic new studio. I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, we we are, and uh, you know we know that you're uh, a big fan of the radio station. I am. I'm not probably not when <laughs> Nora and I are on, but um, <laughs> uh, but uh, you know we know that you're hugely supportive of the radio station. Absolutely, and yeah. I just want to say from all of us, we're incredibly grateful for that. You're um, very welcome. And we have, I think it's fair to say, world class facilities here. Uh, in our brand new digital studio, Scott eats um, potato chips and leaves crumbs everywhere. Yeah, but we, not today. Yeah, no, can we? not today. Now, I, I must say, I'm I'm very impressed. It's spick and span. Uh, Everything so looks great. We, we had we Thank had to vacuum up uh, just before you came, Your Highness. <laughs> um, I really must hope it's right. Can we pass a law today to you know maybe just a big fine for Scott every time he? <laughs> no. He, no, no, no. Okay, all fine. right. We no. tried. We we can't do everything, Nor. No. Um, so uh, it's. It's nice to have you here. This is the first. I, I think Radio Bahrain, and you will probably know the answer to this, Your Highness, is the oldest English language radio station in the Gulf. I, I believe. believe so. Yes. Um, one of many firsts for Bahrain. First place to find oil. Yeah. First absolutely. airline. First, um, first place to educate uh, boys and girls. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, women's rights. The first yeah. in the Gulf. Women working in place. F- first woman judge. First woman ambassador. First woman head of the UN. National Assembly. So, okay. All you know, right. We can you, keep going. We can keep going. No, are you are you following this? You're the you're the first female host of the Big Drive Home. I know. I couldn't <laughs> be more proud. <laughs> so there's a couple of questions that we want to ask you. We make a big thing on the show of Nor being from uh, Generation Z or Zillennial or whatever it is they call them these days. <laughs> yes. Um, Bahrain being a young place, I believe uh, half the population is under the age of 33. Yes. This is where Scott and I feel pretty old now. Yeah. Things that Nord doesn't know. We discovered Knight Rider. She'd never heard of Knight Rider. Never heard of it. Mind blown by a talking car. Yeah. Sorry to disappoint. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you have a, a question for His Highness. I do, yes. Your Highness, um, could you please tell us if you have a message to the younger generation? Ooh, a message to the younger generation. Yes. Um, I think from my experience, the world continues to change. Change is the only constant. Remain adaptable, remain curious, and uh, don't settle for second best. Keep pushing, uh, keep pushing yourself, keep pushing others around you um, uh, to achieve the goals that shouldn't just remain dreams in your head. Um, the, the worst thing is, is, is having a different reality when you're dreaming at home of, on what you could achieve and then the, re- the cold hard reality of day hitting you in the face. Actually, both can you know, the, the day should look more like the night. Yeah. yeah that's, I understand. That's, that's what I'd like to say. Keep going. Keep believing. Keep pushing. Um, there will always be opportunities being opened up. Uh, we are working extremely hard to provide all the tools um, to you, to um, the people of Bahrain, to achieve all the goals that they set out to do, whether it be in the professional space, commercial space, educational space, um, and... Uh, I can say from experience, because uh, unlike Noor, I'm a little bit older, <laughs> a lot older. I, I don't I, believe it. I know quite how you feel. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, I've seen it all change. Uh, and I'm very proud and I'm very happy that people today have far more opportunity than they did in the past. But speaking about the, this wonderful radio station, uh, growing up listening to Radio Bahrain, it felt like a comfort, um, like a comforting friend mm-hmm. all the time. 
And uh, I remember the DJs, the older DJs, Bob McCready. I, I remember Tim Mann. I remember Geg Hopkins. All of all, all the of crazy, crazy Kev, crazy yeah, Kev. Crazy we Kev, we yeah. got him. We got him on the on the morning show. You uh, should get these ago. guys to come in and do some. You know, yeah. uh, those who are still among us, of course, uh, mm. get them to do like a a little guest spot now. Yeah, again. Mm. Absolutely. absolutely. For for us guys that are over thirty three, <laughs> I do remember Night that's, Rider. That's you and me, Scott. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, so um, talking about you saying, you know, no, don't take no for an answer, keep on pushing. Absolutely. Um, where do you see Bahrain in, in 10 or 15 years? I mean, we were the first here to do so many things, but, you know, the countries might have more oil, more gas, but yeah. there's something about and that's Bahrain. That's a good thing. That's, that's a, a spirit, thing. right? I think um, what we were able to do with our local population was outstanding. And uh, we, we still, to this day, have a very organic feel. There is not a sense of frenzy or franticness about living in this country. And uh, I think we need to protect that, but we need to grow. You know, we don't want to be left behind. Mm -hmm. So where do we see Bahrain? Um, I can't answer exactly because that needs a crystal ball. And I, yeah. le I, le I left that in the gypsy caravan. When <laughs> I, yeah, when I came out. Um, but I would say that uh, the sectors we are focusing on, uh, whether it happens to be in finance or in services or logistics or IT or, or tourism uh, or industry, are all sectors where we can see growth um, and, you know, a better... Uh, a better set of opportunities for the people of Bahrain and residents of Bahrain. But I also want to see this country, you know, um, uh, grow in size uh, of population. I'd like to see diversity grow. Mm -hmm. um, and I'd like us to be connected more to the world. You know, we shouldn't just be focused on being connected to the region. Uh, we should have global ambitions. So that's, that's in a nutshell, where, you where see, we're going. Where yeah. you see where, where we're going to be going from here. Yeah. And of course, we've got Aldana Ramfa Theatre now. Yes. We've got some enormous acts. And I, I heard a little whisper, one particular act that came here in the last year that you're a big fan of. I uh -oh. might just play in a moment. Okay, well, I'm not going right. to It's not the Backstreet Boys. No. I know. <laughs> but the worst, thing, the worst thing for any person who may have, uh, you know, responsibility in the political spheres to start telling people which bands they like. Or oh, yeah. It's we, terrible. We, you know, it, it's just, it's a caricature. We bands not, don't like it. I don't like it. So, uh, no, okay. no, no. We keep, I keep that very private. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, we, we, you, we, we'll keep that on the DL then. Uh, then we, there yeah, we go. We will. There we go. Um, it's been an honor to have you uh, with us today. And, and please, uh, you know, we remain always at your service. Thank uh, you. And the service of the kingdom. Like, you know, um, all of you listeners out there, I wish you a, a, a wonderful day. This is a fantastic radio station. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you keep tuning in. And it's only going to get better from here. So thank you, guys. Okay. You, and you heard it from your Royal Highness there. We, can, we can't. Right. We, we, we can't can, top we can't, that. We can't top that. Nope. We'll leave it at this. Okay. <laughs> uh, right. So uh, let's relive some memories from the last year at Aldana Amphitheatre with Greta Van Fleet. Thank you so much, Your Royal Highness. Thank, thank you, you, Your Highness. Thank, thank you. you.